Hello, it's Lewis here from Physics Online. So happy Easter. The Easter holidays in the UK are now happening. And I've got some strategies that you can try to help you over the next few weeks. Now, it has been a particularly long term. I'm sure you're pretty tired, your teachers are tired. And the first thing you need to do is make sure that you do rest. Because if you go straight into 10 hour days of revision from the start of the holidays, you will burn out. And ultimately, when you have your exams in several weeks or several months time, you're not gonna be performing at your best. So make sure that you do have this time to yourself to actually rest and recuperate. Now this doesn't mean just necessarily sitting down, it could mean that you go out and do some exercise, you play some sports, you go out for a walk in the countryside, whatever you can do to have that kind of separation from all the hard work that you've been doing. Now that is super important. Now the other thing uh, that you really need to think about, and this is basically my one top tip, is you need to be cracking on with those past papers. Okay. Now the reason that past papers are useful is because that's going to really help you prepare for your real exams that you've got coming up this summer. Now in 2022 especially, there's something where if you do lots and lots of past papers, you need to be careful about how you actually use them because not all the topics are definitely going to be assessed in your exams. So what you need to make sure is that you look at the advanced information which has been put out by the exam board. And that means as you go through the past paper, you know if those questions are going to be relevant for future things. Now, if you're a GCSE student, there are topics that you definitely will not be assessed on. And that's given to you in the advanced information, which is specific to your exam board and that paper. So you know if you're doing that question, it might not be relevant. If, however, you are an A-level student, then my top tip is still to do the whole past paper, because even though there are some topics which are definitely going to be coming up, there could still be questions about anything in the A-level curriculum. So the more past papers you do, the better your overall knowledge of the course is going to be. Now, doing past papers, um, it's got a couple of advantages. First of all, uh, there's active recall, which means that you're going to be asked questions about a subject, which you then have to think about, and you're going to be going into your brain to try and work out the answer. Active recall is such an efficient method of actually learning content compared to maybe just reading your revision guide, highlighting things, watching a couple of videos here and there. So by doing past papers, already by asking you questions, it's going to strengthen those connections in your brain, which means that you've got a better understanding of the knowledge and how it can be applied. The other thing about past papers is they ask questions on a broad range of topics, and therefore we also get spaced repetition, which means rather than just revising one topic at a time, as you're revising, you're going to get the same topic again and again and again. And the more past papers you do, there's going to be different topics that come up again and again and again. And that's going to kind of, I suppose, if some of you have seen that forgetting curve where you do forget things, when you're reminded of that information, uh, you've got a better recall of it in the future. And by doing past papers, that's giving you spaced repetition because the same topic is going to be asked every kind of couple of days, every couple of weeks as you're revising it. So, it can be hard to actually sit down and start revising. So um, there are three strategies that you could try. The first one is just setting aside five minutes to do some revision. Now that is a very small amount of time. And I know that if you're looking at this on YouTube or TikTok, or whatever you might be watching videos that I've made about physics, it's easy to watch a video and then get sidetracked. However, if you were to spend five minutes where you set aside five minutes and you just do it and just actually start that revision, you can then decide at the end of that five minutes if you want to keep revising or if you stop there. Now, you will have achieved something, uh, and it might be that you think, okay, I've already sat down, I've got the past paper here, I've done a question, I'm halfway through it, I'll just work for a little bit longer. But by setting yourself a five-minute kind of window when you first start revising, it means you're more likely to actually start that session. The second thing uh, is get rid of your phone, okay? I know if I look at TikTok, I'll sit there for 30 seconds to check my account, and then 10 minutes later, I'm still scrolling through. If you can, get rid of your phone and other distractions, put them in maybe a separate room, and if you're doing a past paper, do it with the minimum equipment. So you've got your pencil, your pen, your ruler, your calculator, um, and that means you're going to be used to working through those past papers without other distractions. Yes, I know you probably like to listen to music, but actually um, music is a distraction. It's better to sit completely in silence with no distractions, working through past papers. That's gonna really help you learn. And the other thing is you need to tell somebody about it. Now, if you tell somebody about it, it means you're accountable. So you might just say to one of your friends or to a sibling or to your parents, 
I'm going to go and sit down and do half an hour of a past paper. It's almost like you're making a promise and that means you're more accountable to somebody so therefore there's a higher chance of you actually doing it. So don't just keep it to yourself. If you say to somebody, I'm going to spend from half 11 till 12 o'clock doing a physics past paper, then there's this expectation that you've put on yourself and that means they might ask you, how did that, far, how did that paper go with physics? Now, if you tell somebody about it, you're going to be much more accountable and therefore much more likely to actually um, achieve the thing that you're telling yourself you're going to be doing. So it's pretty simple. Uh, over the Easter holidays, you do have this time for a rest to kind of recharge. You've got plenty of time to be doing past papers for your subjects. Uh, and as you're doing the past papers, they're going to keep asking you questions. So you're thinking about things. So you're building up these neural networks in your, inside yourself. And also it's going to give you a whole sprinkling of topics, which is going to help with this spaced repetition. And again, if you want to um, actually sit down and actually get on with the revision, maybe just set yourself five minutes to do it. Maybe get your phones and other distractions out of the way and tell somebody you're going to be doing it. If you want to keep up to date with anything I've been doing, including this video where I went through how to use past papers in a little bit more detail, uh, don't forget that you can follow me on TikTok and you can subscribe on YouTube. I also have a mailing list, so if you go to GCSE Physics Online or A-Level Physics Online, there's a link there. Uh, you can sign up to my mailing list where I'll be sending out uh, useful emails all the time. Also, you can unsubscribe at any time. And for some people each week, I'll be doing a prize draw to give away extra books that you can win. Um, but yeah, basically, it's going to be hard work, uh, focused work, and all of you can achieve a lot more than you're capable of at the moment. I've had many people say, you know, can I go from like 70 to 80 percent? You can. You can make big changes over the next couple of months if you keep working hard and working smart. So thank you so much for watching uh, and if you want to find anything else about physics have a look on YouTube and have a look at my websites and I've got over a thousand videos that explain everything you need to know for GCSE or A-level physics.